Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video on the Joy OS ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G. So um, here we go. It is actually a ROM that is kind of made to emulate iOS, be similar to that. So if you are an iPhone fan, I guess you'll like this ROM. Um, it looks it's very similar to my UI as well if you've ran that ROM before. But anyways, right away I do want to point out, um, right after you load up the ROM or reboot your phone, you have to go to Settings and then go ahead and go to Operators uh, right here. Go to Operators and then what we're going to need to do is after you go to Operators, go to Access Point names and then go ahead and tap on sprint so once you go to sprint um, let's see I believe hit back actually and tap this little button on the side there so once you tap sprint it should work I believe that would be the data workaround so you need to make sure you tap sprint anytime you reboot so make sure that um, you do that every time that you reboot your device as you can see 3G popped on up, so it looks like it is it is doing its thing. So you need to make sure you go into Operators, Access Point Names, and then tap on Sprint. You don't need to mess with anything in here. We just need to make sure you tap on Sprint uh, right over there. Just give it a little bit of time. Um, as I said, every time you reboot, you need to do, to do that. Um, unfortunately, but uh, it's just a workaround for data. So keep that in mind. That would be the workaround to get data working. But everything else, um, not everything else, but uh, other things that do work, calls work. So nice iOS style dialer there. You can make calls, you can send text messages, GPS works, camera works, torch works. Um, other stuff works as well. What doesn't work is USB tethering does not work. Uh, Wi-Fi AP, Wi-Fi access point doesn't work, which would be native uh, hotspot. That doesn't work. You can try downloading the hotspot app from the marketplace and that should work. So you can use that because it is rooted. Um, you should see super user under utilities folder. So you'll see super user right there. So it is rooted, of course. Um, in, in case you were wondering, if you press on the power button, reboot into recovery doesn't work. You can do screenshot, open airplane mode, slide to power off as well. So just like an iPhone, there you have it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you got uh, a nice slide to unlock, lock screen just like an iPhone. So I mean, it's, it's very similar. You saw in the settings menu, it looks very similar to that as well. I myself haven't really used an iPhone for an extended period of time before, so I'm not exactly f familiar with how it exactly looks, but from what I remember, it looks very similar to this. So you'll see about phone, um, we are running the Joy OS ROM on our device, of course. So very cool there. It is. Uh, it does not have an app drawer. You've got all your apps on one screen here. You got a search um, search button, search page as well. Sorry about that. Um, let's go ahead and go into messages. So you go into the messaging application. As you can see, it looks very similar to the iOS messaging application. You can send a text message to someone. I can say hi. It looks like it has the gingerbread keyboard. So you'll see it says sending. That uh, definitely emulates iOS for sure. If you guys uh, know, have seen an iPhone send a text message, it has sending up the top. Mine's not going to send. My number's not on my device actually, so it won't send. It'll fail. Um, which is no big deal for me. We go ahead and uh, check up here. You'll see it's got a nice basically white look to it up at the top. Pull down the notification bar. You'll see you have a bunch of different toggles. You have GPS there. You have battery saving, Bluetooth lock, data, backlight, 3G. You'll see message not sent up there, but uh, Wi-Fi as well. Um, you can go to notifications and switch. So you have two. You have notifications and switch. I believe when you have a notification up there, it should automatically go to it. So you'll see when I pull it down now, since I have a notification, it automatically goes to that notification as opposed to the toggle. So if I swipe this away, I, you can hit X. So now when I pull it down, it goes to the toggles instead of my notification just because it, there is no notification. So that's very nice that when you pull it down, you'll always get these toggles unless you have a notification. But overall, nice theme look to there. Nice uh, gray tint to it, um, which is nice. So uh, there you have it there. You'll see some Chinese in the ROM um, every once in a while. So keep that in mind. It is, I believe, a Chinese-based ROM that is ported over, of course. So uh, sometimes the home and search keys capacitive down here might not work and if they don't work all you have to do is reboot your device so if you do run into any problems the main thing to do is reboot your phone and uh, make sure that it works um, but yeah I mean everything really um, should be working it looks like I open the keyboard and it's 
not rotating so I don't know if there's a setting I need to turn on auto rotate there might be I'm not going to go through and look through it uh, but there you have it there um, lock screen may also stop appearing but uh, a reboot should fix that as well so kind of keep that in mind um, it is a beta or an alpha ROM. He didn't really specify, but it's definitely a work in progress. It, it, it definitely needs some things. If if MMS isn't working, I don't know. I can't test it. But if MMS doesn't work, try downloading Chomp SMS or Go SMS or Handsense, one of those third-party SMS applications, and it should work. So test that out. Um, let's go ahead and hop into the browser. It's not going to work. Uh, it looks like it's got the stock browser, though the stock uh, gingerbread browser. Unfortunately, I wish it had like. The my ui browser i do like that browser actually so you have the market or play store right there you have joy app store as well um, you can hop into that let's go ahead and check out the camera application so right away here's the camera application going on uh, looks looks very nice you got a bunch of settings right here um, location you have zoom so you can zoom in with this button right here um, you also have back or front. You can select which camera you want. You've got flash mode. You've got white balance, store location, and settings. When you go into settings, the camera force closes, so that's a bit of a bug there within the camera application. So that will need to be worked out. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can tap somewhere to zoom to focus. I guess not. That doesn't work. But you just kind of tap the button focuses takes a picture just like always so there you have it there it takes a picture drops it down over here to your gallery but camera works well of course I uh, tested out a few pictures and it worked just fine of course uh, you can go into menu and you got settings wallpaper add enable wallpaper scroll and so we go to wallpapers um, joy wallpapers there's a bunch of different ones they're actually pretty cool there's only three um, but let's go ahead and set one of them so if we set one of the wallpapers you'll see when you go through screens it doesn't scroll but you looks like you can enable it so go into menu enable wallpaper scroll and there you'll see that uh, the wallpaper does scroll within this ROM when you select that which is nice I know a lot of people didn't like how uh, Samsung got rid of that with some of their ROMs. Of course, you do have folders of, as well. So you'll see I already have a utilities folder going, calculator, etc. Um, so there you have it there. It looks like uh, an iOS style calculator as well. But yeah, I mean, it is really made to emulate iOS. It is very similar to it. Of course, it's not a complete port of it. It's just an Android version of iOS. So um, it's it's really nice go to the music application. I believe it's got a, a styled music application You'll see it does have an iOS style music application. So I don't have any music on my device So you'll see I only have camera click doc. So let's go to one of them There you go. I played it's going through all the sounds so there you have it there That's what it looks like so very similar to an iPhone as well uh, so very cool actually this joy OS especially if you like iOS. I'm not a big fan So I mean, it's probably not my favorite ROM But if you are a fan of iOS and the style and such or you can just mess with your friends that have an iOS and think they're cooler That you could say oh well, I can just do this if I want to um, But yeah, you got all your basic settings of course airplane mode Wi-Fi Bluetooth um, as I said operators you need to make sure you hop into sprint there you need location, uh, calling, security, sound, display, um, application. It is a gingerbread based ROM. It's not ice cream sandwich. It is gingerbread as I said. 2.3.7 right there. So in case you were wondering there, um, it is gingerbread based. But overall, I mean, it is does feel pretty smooth. I mean, I haven't really had any issues yet with it, of course. So, I mean, but you will run into some things. I mean, this isn't a ROM, a st fully stable ROM. So only flash this ROM if you're really looking for a stable, if, if you're looking for, uh, I mean, this, these cool features. It's, it's not necessarily a stable experience, but I mean, pretty much everything works. As I said, calls, text messages, GPS, camera so all the main stuff pretty much works so definitely a run to check out especially if you're an ios fan let me know what you think be sure to leave a comment follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all links will be in the description of the video below and as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up